Join me to learn how to knit the honeycomb cable. This beautiful cable features in the Lottie jumper, which is one of Debbie Bliss's gorgeous patterns. Let's get started. The honeycomb cable we're gonna knit is the one in the absolutely gorgeous Lottie jumper from Debbie Bliss. Now this jumper is knitted in Debbie Bliss Merian, which is a chunky yarn, and I'm using an eight millimeter needle and this lovely Merian yarn. So for the purposes of the video, I'm going to just do a section which has got the honeycomb cable in the middle. And this has got a few stitches either side in moss stitch. So I'm gonna start off with that, but the whole time we're gonna be working the honeycomb cable in the middle of the knitting here. So for my pattern, I need to knit one purl one uh, five times up to where the cable starts. And the cable works its way across eight rows. So I'm gonna start with row one. So for this pattern, there's a knit one purl one, one, two, three, four, five. So I've got five stitches. And then the first instruction for the cable is just to knit 32 stitches. So I'm going to knit 32. Now, when you're working a cable like this, oh, sorry, I split the yarn. What happens is that you work a few rows of knit and purl, and then I think by the time we get onto row three is where we come across the first actual cable work where we twist the stitches. So this is the first row. I shall see you at the end of 32 stitches. Okay, so I've knit one purl one, the first five stitches, knit 32, and I've got five stitches left on the other side, which are also going to be this time purl one, knit one to the end. And this is just for the little bit of moss stitch that accompanies um, the cable either side. And you find that often with any kind of cable, there will be either a bit of moss stitch or sometimes a little bit of garter stitch, something just to break up the cable to give it some background. So that's row one complete. So I'm gonna turn the work round. Row two is very similar. We're going to do a knit one, purl one for five, and then we're going to purl across those 32 stitches and then knit one, purl one the other end. So I'm going to meet you at the end of this row. Okay, so we now got to row three where the actual cabling starts. So we've done two rows of just a knit and purl of those 32 stitches in the middle. And we're now gonna to come to the point where we're going to actually work the beginnings of the cables. And cabling is just knitting stitches in the wrong sequence, if you like, or in a different sequence. The instruction in the pattern is C4B, cable four backwards, and then C4F, cable four forwards. And we're going to repeat those over each section of stitches as we go along this 32 stitches. So the first one, C4B. Now this means that we're going to work the cable stitch over the next four stitches. And the B stands for back, and that means we're gonna take them to the back. And so what we do is we take the first two stitches and we put them onto our cable needle. Now cable needles can either be straight like this one, or sometimes they've got a, a point in the middle. But we pick up those two stitches onto the cable needle and we hold them back from the work, at the back of the work. And then what we're going to do is you just take your normal needles here and I'm going to knit these two, the ones on the regular needle, holding those first two stitches back. So we just knit, we do one, two, and then we're going to knit the two stitches that we held backwards on the cable needle. So I'm gonna pull that stitch of the needle over here and knit those two. And can you see that we're knitting these two out of sequence? That means that we're taking them into sort of a twisted situation. And so if you look there, we knitted these two last and it's caused a twist in the knitting and that's just what we want. 
Now the next four stitches, the instruction says C4F, and that means we're going to cable forward. So I'm going to take these two stitches, because we're working over four stitches, so half of that, bring those two stitches forward, because it's an F, knit the two that are left behind, so just leave those leaning forward, one, move that out of the way, two, and then we're going to knit the two stitches on the forward cable needle. So I'll just put those there and knit them from the cable needle. First time you do this, you need a little bit of quiet, but once you've got it mastered, you'll be laughing. So can you see, if you just have to look quite closely, the cable forward has taken the stitches to the left, the cable back has taken the stitches to the right, and this is the first part of our honeycomb. So now we have to do this again, we're going to cable back over the next four stitches. This instruction here, C, 4, B. And there you can see, we've done the repeat three times now. So you see the beginning of three honeycombs coming. And then we've got one left to do on the next four stitches. So we're going to do the same process again. Then I'm going to work the, the uh, moss stitch on the side here for the next five stitches. And then we'll turn around and work the next row. So this is row four. Um, remember we did our cabling on row three and then on row four, I'm just going to take and show you the back of the work. You can see these lovely little honeycombs forming. Um, so what we're going to do is on row four, we work the moss stitch up to the beginning of the cable. So I'm just going to work a normal moss stitch and remember with moss stitch, we purl the knits and knit the pearls. So you do the reverse, oh sorry, a bit dangly there, the reverse of a rib. Um, but again, this is something that's unique to the Lottie jumper. So don't worry too much about this unless you happen to be knitting the Lottie jumper. There's a little bit of moss stitch. Now, the row four just asks us to purl all the way across the 32 stitches of this cable section. And even though, you know, it looks a bit, un un a bit uneven, a little bit bumpy, don't worry about that. We just purl straight across the 32. So bring the yarn to the front of the work and just purl as you would normally do. Okay, I shall meet you at the end of row four. Okay, so we're ready for row five. And row five, we're going to work a little bit of moss stitch here and then we're going to knit the 32 stitches and work a little bit more moss stitch there. Now you can see how beautifully these honeycombs are coming along. Um, every time you do a knit and purl row, they're growing a little bit, which looks really gorgeous. So I'm gonna start off. Um, cables often have moss stitch around them. Sometimes they have reverse stocking stitch, sometimes they just have stocking stitch. But so I'm going to do knitting the knits, uh, so knitting the pearls, and purling the knit, which is how we create moss stitch. So here I've got a purl, so I'm gonna knit it, knit, and then work a purl on the knit stitch. And it's difficult to see right at the beginning of, of a section like this, how it's gonna actually show up. But if you look on the pictures of the Lottie uh, jumper, you'll see how well the moss stitch sits against the backdrop of the of the cables. So now I'm here, I'm going to knit 32 stitches across the cables themselves. And this gives them a little bit more growing to do. So we've got, this is row five. And so the next row after this one is going to be a purl row in exactly the same way. So I'm going to carry on knitting, see how much that's growing even with that one there. So I'm going to work across this row and then do the purl row at the back and meet you ready for row seven. So now we're ready to work row seven of the pattern. And you can see here, they're just, they're so pretty, these little cables. So you can see the sort of cups of the honeycomb, the bottom cups of the honeycomb. And now what we're going to do is to knit the next row, row seven, where we cable to bring them into the circles that make up the honeycomb. 
So we start off, got my cable needle to hand there. So we start off with our little bit of uh, five stitches of moss stitch. Remember that in your pattern for the Lottie jumper, you may have considerably lots and lots of moss stitch before you get to this section. Um, so I'm going to work my little bit of moss stitch, um, just the five stitches that I have on my swatch to show you. Um, and then we'll start our cables. So here we go, ready for the cable. Now, where, I don't know if you remember this from a little minute ago, but what we had was that a cable back took us in one direction and a cable forward took us in another direction. This time we want to bring the cables in to meet each other. So we're going to reverse what we did earlier. So before we used a cable forward cable back, cable forward, let me get my head around that. This time we're going to use cable forward and then cable back to join these up. So the first instruction here, cable four forward, C four F on those first four stitches. So what we're gonna do is we take off the first two stitches, one, two, onto the cable needle, and we bring them forward, cable forward, F. Knit the two stitches, from your regular needle, one, two. And now we're going to knit the two stitches from your cable needle, which we've been holding forward in the front of the work. And beautifully, they are starting to curve around, you see? So now the next section is, the next four stitches is a C4B. So we're gonna take this back. So we pick up the first two stitches of the four and we hold them at the back of the work. Then you knit two stitches from your regular needle. One, two. And then we knit the two stitches, let's untangle that a minute, from the back of the work. There they are. Whoops, it's got a bit tangled up there. Sorry about that. There we go. One and two. This little cable needle I'm using has got ridges on it. I think they're getting stuck on that. And look, how beautiful is that? Your first little honeycomb circle. Absolutely gorgeous. So we work on the next four stitches. So we're going to cable forward to bring these in to the left. So I bring one, two of those forward, knit two stitches, one, two, and then we knit these two stitches from the cable needle that we've taken forward, one, two, and then the next instruction is to see for B. We're going to take these back at the back of the work. One, two stitches. So you always halve the stitches. Knit two from your regular needle. One, two. And then knit the two from the back of the work with your cable needle is at the back. And look, there's our second honeycomb. And we're going to do the same thing again, this time two forward out of the four, one, two. Bring the cable needle forward, knit two from your regular needle, one, two. And then we knit the two there from your one, cable needle and then we're going to take the cable needle again and we're going to take two to the back this is the CB C4B at the back of the work knit two from your cable needles or your, from your regular needle and then the two from the back needle there your little I'm going to be careful how I should be that along because of the little ridges in the needle they're not the best choice of cable needle for a roving yarn. 
and look at that. Three little honeycombs, I just think it's so pretty. And then the last one here, so we're going to pick up the two stitches and hold them to the front because it's a C4F knit two from your regular row. One, two, and then we knit the two from the cable needle in the front. One, two, and then we're going to do it from the back on these last four stitches of the cable motif. So we take the first two, one, two, hold them at the back, knit two, one, two, and then we just reach out to these two on the back, just slide them along so they're there. One, two, now then, let's have a look at this. How lovely is that? So that is our first cable. Um, I'm going to finish off the moss stitch and then row eight, which is the last row of the pattern. This whole cable process is an eight row repeat. The last row of this eight rows is just the purl along the back. So I'll finish that off and I shall be back in just a second. So here we have the complete eight row repeat and the little bit of moss stitch on the sides and then that gorgeous honeycomb cable in the middle. And that eight row repeat, you just keep going for as long as the pattern tells you to. It's absolutely gorgeous, one of my favorite cables. So this is a honeycomb cable in the Lottie Jumper by Debbie Bliss. Well done, you've now learned how to knit the honeycomb cable. I hope you enjoyed that. Are you gonna knit this gorgeous Lottie Jumper? Because I think I will. Leave me a comment, tell me what you thought, what are you going to use the honeycomb cable for, and don't forget to subscribe for loads more fantastic crafty videos. Happy knitting!